Okay. I recently uh, rent this video is going to be about Madden 2008. And I gotta say, after playing Madden 07 and Madden 06, the great games are the only football games of our generation. I gotta say, Madden 08 once again proved to be disappointing. Sure, the features are all there. I do like the fact that Madden does mounts in that. That is awesome. But the whole fact is, the whole, it's the same thing. I'm, the same thing that Madden's always struggled with, and that's the control of the players. I mean, you put, in a football game, you're supposed, the players are supposed to move like they're players, not like they're fucking cars. Like, it seems like you, the acceleration, it's just, it's stupid. And, like I said, the best football, well, I never said it before, but, the best football game I ever played was NFL 2K5. I think it's unexcusable for game for. I think it's unexcusable for a franchise that's been dead since pretty much 2005 for football. Hasn't really made any games besides all pro football, which that game sucks too. And I think it's unexcusable for EA Sports to make to keep sending out this this product this crap game year after year and people are still buying it. I mean, for 60 bucks you get this piece of crap. And you can just go to a used game store, buy NFL 2K5, spend maybe 5 bucks on it, and you're good for the rest of the year. I mean, of course, I don't know if it has online ROS or anything like that because I had it for Xbox and I never had online capabilities. But I think you can still go online and download, update the rosters. But NFL 2K5, the best football game still. You have complete control on defense, complete control on offense. Like, you, on defense, you can play as the corner. You angle your camera position where you can cover the whole field. Take your cornerback, guard the receiver. I mean, it's it's not difficult like is it on Madden. Another thing with Madden, the difficulty level. It seems like it's either too easy or too hard. I can't find the type of compatible the, the ability to play a football game and stay interested I get too bored like if you put the difficulty too high at least from I, I might not be really good but whatever if you put the difficulty high it's just like you play the game and it's like 10 to 7 that's not fun that's boring I like a game where you, you score at least you know 24 points or at least you know something that over 20 points or more than two touchdowns I mean, I've played uh, NFL 2K5. I've had games that have been low scoring because of my defense, about how it's been my defense that have, has led the way to victory. And that's why NFL 2K5, in my mind, is still the best football game out there. I think it's pathetic that I bought a PS3. I was hyped for Madden this year because people said it was going to be the best football game. Well, I... I rented a family video, I put it in, and I played, I rented it for four days, I played one game, and I, I hated it, I, I didn't want to finish the game, but just because of the fact, it's like, well, I gotta finish the game before I can actually give a legitimate review on it, of course, I'm not gonna do a video review, because I don't know how to do that, <laughs> I have to figure that out, if I figure, once I figure that out, I probably will start doing that, but, to this, right now, it's gonna be just, I just think Madden has been disappointing this year. Uh, NFL, another thing about NFL 2K5, the halftime presentation. I still can't believe, especially if you had it for the Xbox, why the halftime presentation is still better than, than Madden's presentation. I mean, for so many years, Madden didn't even have a halftime show. They used to have the stupid cheerleaders cheer, but then they took that off. I think at Madden 05 was the last year they had that. Or it might have been 04. They only had it for like two years. And people just thought it was stupid. But they don't have a halftime show. They never had one. They don't have a weekend update. They have... I love their pathetic way to bring in Marshall Falk. To put him in this game to make him look like... They, they put him in... They bring him in. And I think it's just their pathetic way of trying to, you know, sell this game. You bring in a guy like Marshall Falk who hasn't had a good year in the last couple seasons. Of course, because course, he's been hurt. But why Marshall Falk? Why'd you pick him? 
because you feel sorry because you put him on the cover of Man No. 3 and flopped? Is that why you put him on there because he got hurt? I don't understand why you why you do that. Why do you bring in Marshall Falk? Why not bring in a veteran or something? So, you know, another like I don't understand why they brought him in. I also love the fact that they're. I, I guess if you buy Madden for online and you have fun with it, it it's a good game to play. But as far as a fran their franchise mode is complete garbage. It's too much to keep track of. The ticket prices, I've never liked that. But 2K5, if you've never played NFL 2K5, I recommend it. You could, if you just want, it's easy and hard at the same time. Or the fact is, you can be down by 14 points, and if, if you're willing to actually come back, you can come back. I mean, it's not like Madden where you, you've been beat up the whole game, and then you try to make a comeback, and it just, it, it doesn't happen. Because you, you only can do like one play, and it doesn't seem like you can do consistent type plays where, you know, man, another thing I hate about it is when you fade back like 10 yards, you can still throw it like 40. On 2K5, you fade back, if you throw it on, you know, backpedaling, your pass is going to suck, just like in real life. I'm sorry, I know it's supposed to be a video game, but how come NFL 2K5 or 2K Sports, when they make their football game, how come it's more realistic than Madden of Madden 08? NFL 2K5 is more... It's more than 2K8, and I, I don't... I mean, Madden 08. But I don't understand why Madden should have a better game by now. At least one game that could compare to NFL 2K5 and say, Hey, look, this is the product we produced. You know, here's that. I can't wait till Madden's contract runs up or... EA Sports contracts one. We're going to have an NFL 2K9 or an NFL 2K10. I don't know what year it's supposed to come. But I can't wait for it because that's when Madden's going to die. I'm telling you. People love Madden, but once when they realize that there's a better game out there, they'll stop buying it because Madden's expensive. Two, and when NFL 2K85 came out, it was only $20, brand new. And I bought it because it that's the only reason why I bought it was because of the price, and it turned out to be a really good game. I actually did buy Madden later on that year, and I gotta say, Madden 05 was a pretty decent game, but 2K5 was a lot better, and I also paid about the same price for the game. I bought it when the season was over, or when it was almost over. I bought it at some used game shop, I think CD Max or something. And I gotta say, I mean, it was, it was an excellent... 2K5 has been the best game. They have great announcers. It's one thing I like about this uh, all-pro football game where they have the same announcers. They don't have Chris Berman. That's a plus. I can't stand him. But the whole fact is the presentation is still there. And playing in a dome in NFL 2K5, it's awesome because it's, it's, you got that, the lighting, the, it's, it's the coloring. Especially if you played that thing like on an on LCD TV, I think it would just improve the overall quality of the game. And it's just a shame that, you know, they don't reproduce this game and put it on the higher consoles and you know, update the graphics. Keep the same players because the game is still fun no matter what. You can keep a franchise mode going. And when I my 2K5, my 2K5 team, I stuck with that same team when I first got the game. I still play the game on my Xbox up to this point and it's still by far the greatest franchise mode because you get connected to your players you, like right now I got a bunch of no name players the only guy you guys will probably know is Carson Palmer I have him on my team and I know it's not the Bengals it's actually the Broncos but you know I it got him off some kind of trade or something like that but anyways the bottom line is what I'm trying to say is if you played in a, if you played Man No 8 and you liked it, that's good. But if you didn't like it, I think it's time for the Madden fans to start complaining and start to go out there and experience other football games because there is better stuff out there. Even if it is a year old or not updated rosters, there are better games out there. And this is Car WCS, Cardinals World Series Champions 2004. That's what it stands for. And thanks for listening to my video.